Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Thursday, June 27th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Let's begin today with a brief discussion on the season premiere of Big Brother on CBS last night. Now, I do not have the overnights yet, but I am predicting they will be close to year ago levels, which means that the upcoming summer season of Big Brother will be just fine. Now, the amazing thing about this show, and as we know, it started a few weeks early this year. It normally does not come back until July, but at least in my case, when I watch the season premiere and I commit to five to ten minutes of Big Brother, I am sucked in for the next three months, and last night was no exception. There is an interesting mix of very young people in the house with some very big personalities, and it will probably spark a lot of fireworks. Now, I want to mention... I received a tweet last night because I was tweeting during Big Brother, which I will do throughout the summer, and I received a tweet from someone who will remain unnamed, and he accused me of trying to act too young by watching Big Brother. Well, guess what? I am not one of those people that goes by the rule books that you have to be a certain age to watch a certain show. I am not necessarily sitting in a rocking chair watching repeats of Murder, She Wrote and Diagnosis Murder yet, and I happen to like Big Brother. So whether I am 25 years old or I am the age I am now, I happen to like Big Brother, and I'm going to watch it all summer. Now, let's go to Paula Dean. I haven't really mentioned anything about her current situation, but I do want to make a suggestion to Paula Dean. I think at this point she needs to lay low. I think she needs to stay off going on shows like the Today Show, and I'm getting very emotional because doing that yesterday, or I believe it was yesterday, really cost her two more endorsements. It did more harm than good. I think she needs to let the scandal ride out and then rebuild from the ashes, but I would stay low at this point. Now let's head over to Fox. The broadcast network has announced its debuting dates this fall for its roster of new and returning series. Now, the obstacle Fox always faces in the fall is it has a lot of preemptions because of baseball. So it has decided once again to debut a number of the series earlier, and the first show to launch in the fall will be the season premiere of The X Factor on Wednesday, September 11th. About half of Fox's lineup is going to debut early. Now, the good thing about that is there is less competition, so there is a chance that it could get more sampling. But by doing that, Fox kind of cuts short the season a bit. And once the broadcast networks officially launch on Monday, September 23rd, that early sampling really is not going to matter. I have the full listing of the Fox premiere dates at our website and in today's newsletter. Let's head over to MTV. The cable network has canceled its recently introduced scripted drama. Zach Stone is going to be famous. It wasn't famous. It was only averaging between three and 400,000 viewers, and the network will only produce nine episodes. On TNT this past Monday was the season premiere of Rizzoli and Isles. The cable network was very happy with its return results, which was 6.6 .6 million viewers. Leading out of Rizzoli and Isles was the second season premiere of Perception with Eric McCormack at 4 million viewers. Over at CNN, its former debate series, Crossfire, which aired from 1982 to 2005, is being revived after an eight-year absence this fall, and one of the new hosts will be Newt Gingrich. I have more information for you in our newsletter and at our website. Laverne and Shirley reunion, sort of. Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams will be appearing together again on screen in an upcoming episode of new Nickelodeon sitcom Sam and Cat. They will play um, former high school enemies. Now, keep in mind that when Laverne and Shirley initially aired on ABC from 1976 to 1983, those two really did not get along. And by the final season, that eighth season, Cindy Williams left the show after just two episodes. She was pregnant at the time, and that final season should have just been called Laverne. Now, two items in TV history. Let's start with Captain Video and his Video Rangers, which is billed as the first science fiction drama in the history of television. It debuted on this day on long-defunct network Dumont 
1949. And of course, anytime you think of Captain Video and his video ranges, you have to think of Art Carney as Ed Norton on The Honeymooners. Then on this day in 1966 was the launch of a daytime drama we have all heard of called Dark Shadows. It ran for five seasons, and I remember at the time as a very young kid being part of a Dark Shadows club. To date, there have been two revivals. In 1991, NBC had a primetime version of Dark Shadows. It lasted only 12 weeks. And last year on the big screen was a Dark Shadows movie directed by Tim Burton and starring Johnny Depp as Barnabas Collins. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 27th day of June. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.